Time is running at a fast pace, slipping from our hands like grains of sand. We are all stuck in races, even before we were born. We are always stuck in a dilemma, if we are actually living life or just existing. Everything we see around us seems fake. We numb our minds with distractions, video games, social media, porn, drugs and more. Our ancestors fought the hardest battles to give us this life and we are even scared to ask a stranger for directions. We scroll through screens for dopamine or just stuff ourselves with junk food. I was the first child of my parents who dreamt of a perfect family and I got used to having more things than I needed. My way of answering them was to be the best in everything. I struggled a lot growing up. I was shy, awkward and underconfident and unwanted. I was living but dying inside. It must have been miserable being around me. But one day, I had enough. I had enough of looking in the mirror and feeling ashamed. I had enough of not being respected by anyone around me. I was tired of it all, so I decided to change things. I started by working out more and eating better. I started socializing. I started meeting new people. Slowly but surely, things changed. Since then, I have become happier, stronger, more confident and more competent than ever. Sometimes I feel I have been cursed with something inside of me, something greater than myself, a responsibility that I cannot shake, a tumor that is friendly when I am in line with it, but bites when I am not. I cannot relax, I cannot stay still. For me, peace can only be achieved after war, after conquest, working on my mission and my purpose. I must rage against dying of the light, for I have a long journey ahead of me. Most people won't understand where I am going, but I know that I must embark. My family and friends are praying for me. My future kids are rooting for their father. This is where my real story begins. Happy birthday, Hardik.